What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video we're talking about a new downgrade tool that has been released for the 64-bit devices. This video is brought to you by iMobi and their software AnyFix, which allows you to repair various system errors, fix iTunes and synchronization errors, and of course downgrade, upgrade your device, reset your device and exit and enter recovery mode. Check the program out in the link below. So just a couple of days ago this program has been released called Inferius and this one allows you to create and restore custom-made firmware, basically custom IPSWs that would allow you to do downgrades on iOS. It has been released by Adam in here and this is a github for the tool. It's actually open source and it's pretty good. So you will be able to get the tool pretty easily and all you need in order to run it is a Mac and of course Python. Now a Linux version may be available in the future but for now it's not available and the requirements are basically LDID that you can get from Homebrew and of course a 64-bit device and a computer running Mac OS. Now the 64-bit device has to be compatible with the Checkmate. It has to be vulnerable to the Checkmate exploit released by Axiomax used in the iPhone DFU in here. It's basically the Checkrain devices if you want and this means that the tool will not be compatible with the iPhone SE 2020, with the iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11, 11 Pro Max, iPhone on 10R, 10S Max and of course the uh, 10S. So this is compatible with the iPhone 10, it's compatible with the iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 7 Plus, 7, it's compatible with the iPhone SE, iPhone 6S Plus and of course 6 and stuff like that. So everything that is not the A12 or A13 devices should be indeed compatible. Now a lot of information has been posted about this tool here on the uh, Reddit jailbreak and this post contains the important things. For example, the fact that this is not going to be an untethered downgrade. You will still need Pi Boot in order to boot the device and this is macOS. Windows is not supported. So there are multiple ways that you can fix that. You can either do a Hackintosh which is basically macOS running on a PC or of course do it in a virtual box if it's possible and stuff like that. But this is intended to downgrade 64-bit devices that are vulnerable to the Checkmate to of course previous iOS versions. Now this can indeed be used for other things as well if you want to create a custom-made firmware for iCloud Bypass. It's not limited only to downgrades. It can create custom-made firmware so you can use them to basically do anything with the custom-made firmware but the recommended usage is basically for downgrades. Now another caveat for the moment that is mentioned in here is that the downgrades are still limited to versions compatible with the latest signed SEP, basically the SCP or Secure Enclave processor. This will however change in the future if we get a SEP bypass with Checkrain so in the future we might be able to use this tool to downgrade to absolutely any version we want. Right now you can downgrade but only to versions that have the SEP compatible with the latest SEP available. So that that basically limits a little bit what you can downgrade to, however it may be possible to downgrade to a jailbreakable version. So to recap, this is not going to support the A12 devices, this is only intended for the devices that support the Checkmate exploit and therefore no A12 or A13. The downgrades are not untethered, which means that if you want to boot your phone, if you want it to power on, you still need Pi Boot or something like this in order to be able to boot. If you don't have Pi Boot and if you don't connect your phone to the computer, it won't boot. And more information can be found in here. And you can request support on their discord but yeah it's actually a good tool it uses firmware bundles in order to work it uses patches for IBSS IBEC and stuff like that and you can even create your own they do have a guide on how to create your own it's available in here and you can actually see exactly how to create your own firmware bundles if you cannot find your own in the tool they do have a lot of them in here on the firmware bundles and it's likely that your device is supported out of the box but if it's not you can create your own firmware bundles by using their guide in here which is actually very well detailed so definitely Definitely check it out. However, as I said, this is currently only limited to Mac OS and you do need Mac OS absolutely for now. Now it says in here that the Linux version may come in the future, however, as I said, you can try a Hackintosh or of course if you have an older Mac, as long as it's not very very old, it should work as well. You don't need the latest Mac, you just need a Mac. So this may work on High Sierra or on El Capitan as well, as long as you have the prerequisites installed, which is basically LDID, which you get from Homebrew, and of course Python. So that's basically it about this tool very very interesting tool because it allows you to create custom-made firmwares for really any purpose but mostly for downgrades and it's actually quite good and of course it's open source so definitely check it out thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out